in a Republican Party battle that could define our times. This is not a game. Every one of us must be committed to the eternal defense of this miraculous experiment called America. Liz Cheney, the Wyoming Congresswoman, and Donald Trump's chief Republican antagonist, losing overwhelmingly to Harriet Hageman, who calls the 2020 election rigged and was backed by the former president. His clear and unwavering support from the very beginning propelled us to victory tonight. Trump in a social media post saying Cheney can now, quote, finally disappear into the depths of political oblivion. But in an exclusive interview with Savannah Guthrie. I don't see it as death this morning. Cheney saying she isn't going anywhere and will do whatever it takes to keep Trump from winning the presidency again. I think that defeating him is going to require uh, a broad and united front of Republicans, Democrats and independents. Uh, and that's uh, what I intend to be uh, to be part of. Are you considering running for president yourself? It is something that I, uh, I'm thinking about and I'll make a decision uh, in the coming months. I think that's about the worst idea I've heard in a long time. I hope she runs for president. I think she's been a great example of integrity and a great patriot. Now at least eight of the ten Republican U.S. House members who voted to impeach Trump last year will not return to Congress next term. A visitor from the future might look back on 2022 and say that this is the year the Republicans became a personality cult. Cheney last night, with her father watching from the audience, suggesting this is a new GOP. I believe deeply in the principles and the ideals on which my party was founded, but I love my country more. Now, overnight, Cheney launched a political action committee to aid those future efforts. At the same time, she told Savannah in that interview earlier today that it could take a couple election cycles to change the minds and change the direction of the GOP.